We're back in the trailer vault. Please let me out. You've been <laughs> be keeping me here now for weeks, mister. Yeah, sorry about that. And Glass. Yeah. Is the trailer, and um, I'm not convinced. Just not convinced. I mean, I really liked Unbreakable, but that is a fairly old movie, so the concept is not new anymore. When I saw Split, and they had this end scene with Bruce Willis in it, I was really because thrilled it about it. That was the best scene in the movie. It was. That is <laughs> precisely that is the reason why I was so thrilled like the about it. Crazy guy in the wheelchair that they put away 15 years ago. And he gave him a funny name too. What was it? Mr. Glass. But now that I see the trailer, I'm like, um, I am not sure if it has enough. Has changed over the years. Enough sort of like um, enough um, given up. strength to carry all these thematic elements to the next stage, or if it will simply become a generic superhero movie. Yeah, um, I think my problem with um, my problem with it is more to do with M Night Shyamalan. <laughs> because <laughs> finally, <laughs> somebody who knows how to pronounce the name. And it's a beautiful thing to hear. Yeah. The problem with him is that I tend to give him more and more chances, mm. simply because I thought that. Uh, I thought that Sixth Sense was, for its time, it was a genius movie. It was. I really liked Unbreakable mm. because it was pre-superhero mm. era and yeah. somebody who clearly liked comic mm. books had wanted to sort of have an adult take yeah. on it. Um, I didn't think much of signs. I think village was still quite interesting and I even sort of like Lady in the Water, which most people hate. Um, I didn't see The Last Airbender. Uh, it was great. It, it was, <laughs> apparently it was great and I've been missing out. But, uh, but I even sort of like The Happening, which mm. I realize why people think that it's a shit movie because nothing happens in it. And it's just these, it, it, it's kind of tar similar to Tarkovsky. Yeah. He's wanted to do like this, uh, this hay blowing in the breeze and that creates these ominous yeah. undertones and so on. And part of it works, but mostly my problem with M. Night Shyamalan is that he's gotten worse and worse and worse and worse all the time. Yeah. And Split was better. Mm. I think that than a lot of his movies be, be, before, and then he did that one movie which he didn't write um, about these kids who go and visit their grandparents. Oh yeah, that was actually pretty scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was. I, I think that was that worked in yeah, a way. Did. Yeah. Um, but I agree that with Split, the best thing was the last, mm. very last, final extra scene, yeah. and based on the trailer. I'm again. I'm willing to give him a chance mm. because I sort of like him. I I, I like him like for the reasons that a lot of people up. hate him. That he is I sort of obsessed with the final twist the and he can't get around it, and and, and he just that over. inhibits him being a really good filmmaker because he wants to create. He basically wants to make movies that people only want to see once. No, no. Um, but. I think that actually, for me, I think that actually that dynamic might work. It might. Yeah, I mean, yeah. uh, I, I like all the principal actors, mm. all their roles mm. within that universe. And I'm sort of, ex I, I, I want to see what he makes out of it. It may be shit, mm. but I think that I want to see what he's, he's able to do with that dynamic. And is it going to be, is it, is it going to be any kind of sort of, fresh 
injection of ideas into this whole super superhero mm -hmm. thing that has been really stale now. Yeah, I think that might. I think you're actually making a really good point that made me think about the problem with trailers in general. Yeah. Because trailers are usually constructed in this really, in a way, boring fashion. Like the glass trailer is constructed as this sort of like a superhero uh, battle movie, in a way, in a way. It's sort of a quirky superhero movie. But I think they might not really do justice to the end product. Yeah. And I've seen it before with trailers, like uh, the Blade Runner sequel trailer was basically a trailer for an uh, action movie. Yeah. Like this really, this sci-fi action movie, and it's not a sci-fi action movie. Yeah. It is in small parts, but it's not the whole thing, so yeah. I hope that is the case with this trailer here. Yeah. The only, the, the one problem that I had with the trailer was that I felt, again, that it gave too much away. Mm. That it, it and, and also, I'm wondering whether anybody who hasn't seen Split and hasn't seen Unbreakable are going to be able to watch the mm. movie and it make any sense to them or or, yeah. or do you have to sort of watch the I think probably you yeah. have to at least Unbreakable I mean yeah. it might be that you see this trailer or you've heard about it that yeah. the, some some of your friends have seen Split and they're talking about the Unbreakable connection in that movie and then you see this trailer and it sort of makes sense so yeah yeah, but I, I, I recommend seeing Unbreakable still. I haven't seen it myself in a long time, but I, I thought it was a really good movie back yeah, then. Was. And, and I, I'm not saying that you shouldn't watch Split. Mm. I think that it's an interesting uh, glimpse into one actor's ability to no. take on different roles in, within one movie. And it's, it's not, not that bad. It, yeah, it's not, it's, it's not great, but no. it's, not, it's, it's, it's sort of like completely a, you know, watchable, no. I think. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically my take. Yeah, I think that's it. And finally leave the vault. <laughs>